So in the past YouTube video, Priyan has always putting us onto the mat. So today is the time for me to put him onto the mat. Hello. to another flow class. I'm Yuko. I've been teaching at this studio ever since I graduated from the yoga teacher training two years ago. When I graduated, I said that I'm not going to teach, but I wanted to just gain the knowledge. But after that, I just discovered the joy of the ability to give back to the yoga community and students and friends about what I have learned. Teaching yoga and doing the yoga is the important page in my life. In the previous week, we have practiced firefly hips. It is a particular shape of the hip and leg. And there are some poses and options which are harder. But please take your option and if you don't feel like going to the arm balance, you can just sit onto the block. Okay, let's start. Let us take a few moments to observe your breath as well as the state of your mind, state of your body. Beautiful. Let us keep this mindfulness throughout the practice. And let's start opening the hip, bringing your sole of the feet together in front of you. This is the butterfly shape. And take your index finger and middle finger and holding the big toe. And let's first start flipping your butterfly, loosening the hip joint. And try to put your knee down. Very good. And release. And keeping the fingers, take inhale to pull, lifting the spine long and keeping the length with your exhale. Try to touch the belly to the heels. And forward and forward, forward, forward. Very good. You can keep holding the big toe or placing the palm onto the mat. Maybe forearm onto the mat. And crawling the finger forward. Maybe forehead or chin is down onto the mat. This is still the beginning of the class. No need to go too deep. Taking a few more breaths. And finger crawling back and torso up. And use your hand to close the knee. And look to the front of the mat. Let us come to the tabletop. Hands and knees. We continue with the cat cow. And the palm is below your shoulder. Knee is below your hip. And moving the shoulder ahead of the wrist. And moving to the right side and start making a circular motion of your shoulder clockwise, warming up the wrist a few times and going to an opposite direction, anti-clockwise. Very good. Coming back to the center, turn your palm 90 degree in a way that the fingers are facing outward. Very good. And moving the shoulder right and left. Right and left. 
Very good. Let's turn the palm 90 degree again. Fingers are facing to, toward your knees. And start moving the hips back, stretching the wrist. Very good. And coming back to the original position, fingers are facing toward the front of the mat and cat cow. Inhale, soften the belly, tailbone up, chest up, chin up. Exhale, round, tailbone in between the legs, dropping down the head, pressing the palm. Inhale, start arching from a lower back, middle back, upper back, looking up, Exhale, round from a lower back, middle back, upper back, head coming down. We repeat, inhale, arch, feeling the movement of the spine, vertebra by vertebra. Exhale, round, movement of the tailbone, belly is away from the mat. Inhale, arch, one more time. And start bending the elbow next to the body, coming into knee chest chin position. Chest goes down in between the hand, hip is high. Keeping the elbow hugging in, beautiful. And slide the knee back and belly down and thigh is down and tuck your toes. And pressing the palm, peeling the chest off the mat with your inhale, baby cobra. Very good, back to the tabletop position. Next, bring your right foot outside of the right palm, coming into the lizard position. Very good, and left foot 45 degree to the right side. And left palms, right palms down, left palms up, coming into the supported side angle pose. Feel that the right shoulder is pressing, right tricep is pressing the right knee. This is an important feeling for today. And if your neck feels good, looking up. Very good will go down to your back, internally rotate, and see if you can find your right thigh. Wiggle the fingers, and keep opening the left shoulder up. Feel the sensation of the front of the left shoulder. Beautiful. Take one more inhale, and exhale, release, and left palms down, right foot back to the tabletop. Let's do an opposite side. Bring your left foot outside of the left palm, and right foot 45 degree to the left. Very good. Right palms up to the ceiling. and left shoulder is pressing the left knee. Very good. If you feel good, looking up. And right arm, internally rotate, going back to your back, and see if you can find the left thigh. And using this half bind, as the leverage to open the right shoulder. Two more breaths here. And slowly release. Right palms down, left foot back to tabletop. And when you are ready, tuck your toes let us come to the fast downward facing dog. As the fast down dog for today, 
Feel free to paddle your feet by bending one knee at a time, by pressing one heel at a time. Maybe bring your hips side to side, stretching the side of the body. Or do any movement your body feels needed at this point of the practice. And when you are ready, settle into the downward facing dog. Very good. Take one inhale, both heels high, hip is high. And bending the knee, belly is close to the thigh. And take inhale, straighten the knee. And keeping the knee straight and both heels down into the downward facing dog. And this is like your home base. Feel the shoulder, feel the hamstring. Very good. Look front in between the hand. Let us walk to the front of the mat. Right foot, left foot. Inhale, halfway left. Adha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold, belly to thigh, chest to knee, chin to shin. Deep hamstring stretch. Option to hold the calf from the back. And that may intensify the forward fold. Very good, releasing the hands, strong back, inhale, rise, arms all the way up to the ceiling, look up, exhale, palm, heart center. We continue with the sun salutation and a warm up sequence. Come to the front of the mat, with toe touching, heels slightly apart, engaging into the inner leg, Feel the equality in right and left, front and back. Samastirihi. Beautiful mountain pose. Let's move with the breath. Inhale, arm is up to the ceiling, looking up. Exhale, forward fold, hinge from the hip. Palms all the way down, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palms down, right foot all the way back, left foot all the way back. Let us come to the first plank pose of today. And holding the plank always is a great way to warm up the body. So let me keep talking to check our alignment. Is your hand right below your shoulder? Fingers are spread, weight is not just on the wrist, and spread into the all four corners. Is your shoulder blades? Yes, very good. It's separated, protracted. Shoulder, hips, heels are in one straight line. If holding the plank is difficult, feel free to drop one knee or both knees. We are here for five. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful, dropping the knee, chest, chin. Slide directly into baby cobra or feel free to go slightly higher to cobra. And tuck your toes to downward facing dog. Beautiful. Let us look front, bending the knees. Maybe we can start hopping or jumping lightly to the front in between the hands. Inhale, half a lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, strong back, arm all the way up to the ceiling. Exhale, palm, heart center. We continue. Inhale, arm is up to the ceiling, look up. 
Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, half a lift. Exhale, palms down, one vinyasa, step or jump back. And we meet in downward facing dog. Back to the home base. Look front, right foot forward, in between the hands, side angle pose, left heels in, right arms inside of the right foot, left palms up. Very good. Feel that the right tricep is pressing the knee. Feeling the openness of the hip. Next, we inhale and lifting the left palm so much that we are coming up to the warrior two. Very good. The warrior two, taking the stance wide enough. Your right thigh is almost parallel. Arms up for either side. Look to the right fingers. Very good. Right palms up, reaching forward. Let's reverse by right arms up and over. And left palm is crawling down, keeping light onto the left hand. Beautiful stretch onto the right side of the body. Take inhale and exhale, cartwheel both palms down and right foot back and take one vinyasa of your choice. We meet in downward facing dog. Left foot forward in between the hands, side angle pose. Right heels in. Left palm inside, right arm is up. Very good. Feel the shoulder is pressing against the knee. And looking up to the ceiling. At your next inhale, reaching the fingers high and coming up to the warrior two. Torso is stacking on top of the hip. Look to the left finger. Very strong warrior. Left palms up, reaching forward. Let's reverse the warrior. Left palms up and over. Keep the left knee bent. Feel the stretch onto the left side of the body. You can look up or you look down, your choice. Take one more inhale and cartwheel. Both palms down with your exhale. Left palms, left leg back. And take one vinyasa. And meet in downward facing dog. Very good. We repeat and add on. Look front, right foot forward, in between the hands, side angle pose. Right palms in, left palms up. Very good. Let's take an option to half bind. Top arm is going to the back and find your right thigh one more time and right hand is hold your right ankle very good from here let us start straightening the right knee with your inhale and with your exhale to re-bend the knee Two more times. Inhale to straighten. 
Exhale to bend. Inhale to straighten and let us hold here, feeding into the sensation of the right inner thigh. Left shoulder is turning to the top. And look up if you feel good. For three, two, one, rebending the right knee, releasing the half bind, and coming up to warrior two. Very good. Take inhale to straightening the right knee, palm heart center, right toe slightly in, left toe slightly up, and Skandasana, okay, and bending the left knee deeply all the way down and left elbow is pressing the left knee. Very good. You can stay here to hold or join Priyan with your next inhale to come back to warrior two. And with your exhale, coming back to retreating warrior, bending the left knee. Let's do two more times. Inhale to warrior two. Exhale to skandasana. Inhale to warrior two. And exhale to skandasana. Now you can uh, stay here. And start opening the palm by placing the left palm onto the mat. Left shoulder is still inside. Right palm is up to the ceiling. You can stay there or taking the option to bind. Internally rotate the left palm and right palm is going to the back and see if you can find your right fingertips or right wrist and the pull the right wrist to straighten the arm and the right shoulder is opening for five four three two one releasing the bind finger placing forward and let's straighten both knees Coming to the wide leg forward fold, toes are facing forward or even slightly in. Take halfway lift, exhale forward fold, keeping the torso long, hands are walking back, and crown of the head is reaching to the mat. If your head is already down, Consider making the stance slightly narrower. Very good. Keep finding the length. We stay here for five, four, three, two, one, inhale, halfway lift. Right toe is pointing to the front of the mat, keeping the left leg as is, walking the hand 45 degree to the left side. Both knees straight, take inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, and walking the hands even to the front. Very good. Stay in this pose for five, four, three, two, one. Half a lift, keeping the leg and bringing your right shoulder under your right knee, similar to the lizard pose we did earlier, but right knee is straight. Walking the right hand to the right side, left hand to the left side. Very good. You can stay there or challenge to lift the both fingers up 
or bind onto your back. This is the feeling that we will experience into the fire ply pose. We are here for five, four, three, two, one. Releasing the hands and start bending the right knee and right foot back to plank. And take one vinyasa of your choice. We meet in downward facing dog. Continue with the left side. Look front, left foot forward, side angle pose, right heels in, left palms inside, right palm is up. Very good. Top arm is lower in down to find the left thigh. Internally rotate. And left hand start holding your ankle. Very good. Right shoulder is opening. Take inhale to straightening the left knee. With your exhale to rebending the knee. Let's do two more times like this. Inhale to straighten. Exhale to rebending the knee. Taking inhale to straighten. And let's hold. This is the deep sensation of the left inner thigh. Hamstring. Right shoulder, front of the right shoulder is also feeling a lot of the sensation. And with your exhale, rebending the left knee, releasing the half bind, and let us come to warrior two. Beautiful. Very good. Left palms up, reaching forward, reverse the warrior. And take this almost like a resting pose. And left palm is reaching to the back. And back to warrior two. Very good. Straightening the left knee. Palm heart center. Bending the right knee. Coming into retreating warrior. And sitting down deeply. Yes, there is cracking sound. And option one to stay there. Or join Priyan to go back to warrior two with your inhale. Exhale back to retreating warrior. Let's do two more times. Inhale to warrior two. Yes. Exhale retreating warrior. Can we do one more time? Inhale to retreating warrior. And exhale back to skandasana. Okay, now your right elbow is pressing, right tricep is pressing your knee, and right palm is down, left palm is up to the ceiling. Beautiful. An option to take the bind. And right palm is trying to find the fingertips or the wrist. And pull the left wrist, straightening the elbow. Beautiful. We are here for five, four, three, two, one. Releasing the bind. And the palm to the center of the mat and both legs straight. Prasarita onto the second side. Again, adjust the stance according to the leg and the hip flexibility. The second round of the prasarita, we can take a few variations. You can hold the ankle 
or you can hold the big toes. Some of you may prefer to clasp the finger behind you and straighten the elbow. But maybe taking the option for the inversion, create a tri triangle shape and keep the leg straddle position or like Priyan, creating the butterfly shape. Keep hugging in the elbow. Slowly with control, coming back exactly the same place as it came. Inhale, halfway lift. Don't come up too quickly. Make sure there is no giddiness. And walking the hands to the front of the mat, left toe is pointing forward. This is like a pyramid position. Take inhale, half lift. Exhale, finger going to the right side, forward fold. Keeping the torso straight. We are here for five, four, three, two, one, half a lift. This time, bringing the left shoulder inside of the left knee, crawling the left hand to the left side, right hand to the right side. As if the left shoulder is carrying the straight left knee. Option to lift the fingers like an airplane. Or if you did take the bind, internally rotate both palms and taking the right wrist. We are going to stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Releasing the bind, left knee bent, palms down, left foot back. Take one vinyasa or coming directly to downward facing dog. Very good. Look front. Walk step or jump to the front of the mat. Take half a lift. Exhale, fold. Let us come to chair pose, bending the knee, arm is up. And we are going to sit down in the count of five, four, three, two, one hip is down, coming to Navasana, shin is parallel to the mat. Keep the torso lifted. Very good. Try to bring the knee closer to the chest and take the index finger and the middle finger to find your big toe. And start straightening the knee. Now we are balancing on your hip. Deep hamstring stretch. Let us start opening the leg to the side. We are coming to the Uppa Vista Konasana B. And keep pulling the big toe close to the torso, keeping the torso straight. Very good. You can stay here. This is already a challenging pose. Or join Priyan to releasing the hands, but leg is not moving. Leg is keep hugging in. And we stay here for five, 
four, three, two, one. Well done. Bending the knee, feet onto the mat, feet outside of the mat, and the knee is shoulder distance. We are from here. We are coming into the Krumasana. So the palm in between the hand and moving the both shoulder inside of the knee. The key for this pose is to bring the shoulder as low and inside of the knee before straightening the knee. Very good. You can place both arms to the back or like Priyan, try to take a bound option. Finger may or may not touch, and when you are ready, start straightening both knees to the front. Beautiful. You can stay here, or let us take the active option by kneecap lifted and lifting the heels a few inch off the mat. Beautiful. We are here for five, four, three, two, one. Heels down. Well done, Priyan. And releasing the bind and bending the knee slightly. And that will create a space to release the arm to the front, placing the Walking the hands back. And you can step back or even jump back for vinyasa. And let us meet in downward facing dog. Next time we go forward, I would like you to have the leg outside of the palm. Let's do it together. Take inhale, bending the knee, and slowly jump with the feet outside of the palm. Very good. From here, we will transition into Titipasana B and start straighten the knee, but not completely. Walk the shoulder out inside of the knee, very good. You can walk even further and take a bind. Finger may or may not touch. That's okay. Once you reach, try to straighten the leg. A beautiful Titibhasana B. As Priyan is doing, Feel free to tuck chin to the chest, even looking up. We stay in this pose for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly releasing the bind and bending the knees, palm is placing down. And we are coming to the arm balancing position. Bhujan Pirasana, this was the pose practicing essential. And arm is already carrying your knee and cross the feet in front. And arm is straight. Very good. Stay in Bhujan Pirasana or shoulder pressing pose. Hugging the knee and keep pressing the shoulder. You can stay there or take more advanced pose to bring the chin down by hips up and slide the feet back of the palm. Very good. Stay for a few more breaths. And when you are ready, slowly coming back to the Bhujan Pinasana, let's explore 
the titibasana A by straightening the knee, pointing the toe, and hip is going down, keep the spine as straight as your body allows. And beautiful pose, firefly. Let us stay here for two more breaths. And slowly bend the knees, coming to crow pose, and slowly jump back. Well done. And let's meet back in downward facing dog. Well done. Settle in in downward facing dog. Very good, look front. Walk, step or jump to the front of the mat. Take onto the mat, facing up. We crunch a lot of the front of the body. Let's release, coming into the bridge pose. Feet bent, close to the hip, and maybe your fingers are able to touch the heels, palm beside the body. Let's tuck the tailbone and lifting the hip, then lifting the lower back, middle back, upper back. Very good. And clasping the fingers behind the body and walking the shoulder blades inward, allowing the hip to go higher. Feeling the beautiful stretch onto the front of the body. And knee is not going outwards. Keep hugging in as if the block is in between the thigh. Beautiful. Take a few more breaths. And releasing the palm. And lower down from the upper back, middle back, lower back. Keep the spine long. We are gonna repeat, or if you would like to take the option of the wheel pose, consider placing the both palm beside of your ears. Finger facing to shoulder. And pressing the palm fast, come up to the crown of the head onto the mat. Adjust the hand position. When you are ready, pressing the palm one more time to beautiful wheel pose. Again, feel free to take the second round of the bridge pose. When you have the room, walk the feet closer. Very good. Stay for two more breaths. Keep pressing the shoulder toward the palm. And when you are ready, let us slowly coming down, chin to the chest, and hugging knee to the chest. Feel free to rock side to side, side to side, releasing the lower back. Very good. From here, dropping both knees to the right side, left shoulder. It's kept on the mat, supporting the outside of the left knee with your right hand. Look to the left. The left palm can be either straight, as Priyan is doing, or feel free to take cactus arm 90 degree. Feel the stretch of the left side of the body, and lower back. And start slowing down the breath already. Very good. Bring the knee 
back to the center. Let's do an opposite side, bringing hips slightly to the right side. Drop both knees to the left and supporting your right knee with your left hand to intensify the twist. Right shoulder is onto the mat. Look to your right. We take a few more breaths. And let us bring the knee back to the center. Let us take the happy baby pose. Today we did a lot of the hip opening. So knee wide apart, bringing the arm into the center, holding the sole of the feet from outside. Bend the knee 90, 90 degree, pull the knee down, keeping the tailbone onto the ground. You are happy baby today, maybe a little bit deeper. And Priyan always say, someday knees will touch the ground. Let's see whether that happens. Very good. And when you are ready, let us release from the happy baby, baby pose and come into the final pose for today, Shavasana. Straighten both legs, mat distance, toes out, heels in, arm beside the body, palm facing up, fingers naturally curled, eyes are closed. <laughs> 